Many of you have probably heard of the tool called Sysraptor, the reporting tool, but there aren't many videos on how to use it. So today I will be showing you how to install that tool. So we're gonna go ahead and go to Ubuntu.com, Downloads, Desktop, and install the latest version of Ubuntu. And as you can see, it's the ISO file is starting right there. We're gonna come back when it's finished. As we can see, the Ubuntu file has now downloaded. So let's go ahead and go to VMware. I'm going to be showing how to uh, install this on VMware uh, and not VirtualBox. But if you are using VirtualBox, um, just look up a different tutorial on how to install a Ubuntu virtual machine. So we're going to go to New Virtual Machine. And we're going to choose typical. Next. Now we're going to click install or disk image. And then we have to navigate to that particular file that we just downloaded. And we're going to click on the file. Now we're going to click next. And then we are going to add our name. And we want to choose where we want to install this virtual machine. And now we want to set this to 25 and let's store it in a single file. Now let's go ahead and boot this machine. Now we're just gonna go through the basic stuff, setting our language. Fault selection. Let's just click next. Next. Set a password. All right, Ubuntu is installed and ready to use. Let's click restart now. All right, I was having some issues starting up the VM machine. I needed to go to the settings, display, and turn 3D graphics off. Uh, the VM kept freezing. So now let's go to the terminal and let's go to Firefox. I'm gonna go to Sysraptor, GitHub page. And on the GitHub page, as you can see here, it says you need Ubuntu, the latest version of Docker with the Docker Compose plugin. So we need to go back to the terminal and run the following commands. We also need to install VMware tools if you want to enable copy and paste. So sudo app install open VM tools open vm tools dash desktop dash y and now we need to restart the machine all right so we're going to do sudo app install uuid dash runtime now we're going to install docker impose or docker compose from the error message it looks like curl is not installed so let's go ahead and try to install curl sudo app install curl dash y now let's see if it's working all right so we have curl now let's try that command again. Now we're going to make this an executable and change the file permissions. Now let's run this command and let's check the Docker Compose version. And as you can see, it is properly installed. Let's try to install Sysraptor. All right, so we tried the curl command directly from the GitHub page. So right here, and now we are getting the correct information back. This character must have changed within my notes. We can go ahead and press yes, yes. We can press yes, yes. We can leave it as default. Let's press sysrectorexample.com.
All right, so it seemed like uh, what solved our issue here was that we needed to switch to the root user using sudo su, and then we ran the same bash command. And now it looks like it's working. All right, now it looks like the installation was completed. And this is our password to log in. So we can go ahead and press Y. And it copies over our password to our clipboard. And now we go over to localhost port 8000 and paste in our password and in here we can go ahead and upload some templates okay so on this github page sisa lifters they have a collection of uh, report templates for oscp oswp osep osee so let's uh, follow the installation steps so first we need to go over to the cd raptor deploy directory so cd deploy all right and let's copy this that's setting the url variable and then we copy this curl command All right, so it looked like the command was looking for an app.emv app file. So what I did was I copied the .emv file and named it as app.emv. And then I ran the command again. And as you can see, now we have the .emv and the app.emv. And now when we go back to Sysraptor, we go to designs and we see all of these templates. And let me show you how to use the templates. So this is just pretty much the OSCP template. And as you can see, everything over here is in HTML. And up here you can change it. So whatever you change on this side will reflect over here and if we go to preview data um, here it is easier to change all the information that was uh, set in place so let's go to methodologies and here let's change this so as you can see like everything that you change you have to change it on the left side and see when I press the backspace it's changing over here and then you can do like refresh PDF and it should refresh on this side as you can see and whatever reporting information that you have to put in you just put it in over here and there are also some for the CPTS exam. So this one, uh, it's for the CPTS, CBBH, CDSA, and CWE. And you can just import those templates and um, you won't have to worry about the format of your report because everything is already formatted. And all you have to do is change the value and add more information to your report. Thanks for watching.